this channel did not exist when Serena Williams last played a WTA tennis match, but she is back and here are a few takeaways from Serena Williams' recent match against Yelena Ostapenko in Abu Dhabi. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to the tennis vlog for the last time in 2017. If you want to stay updated during 2018 and get notified of new uploads, be sure to subscribe now. The WTA Tour was not short of new champions in 2017, but it was running a little dry on legends, and that won't be the case for much longer because Serena looks set on making her real comeback to tennis in January 2018, and she gave us an idea of just how focused she is by playing an exhibition tennis match against Yelena Ostapenko, the French Open champion of 2017 on Saturday. The real 2018 tennis season officially starts next week with New Year, but there are several exhibition events a couple of exhibition events going on now. One of them is a men's event which is usually made up of six players, however due to mass withdrawals they had to switch things up a bit which included the first ever women's tennis match at the event which featured Serena Williams. So that's a real crowd puller since she has not competed since January 2017. Serena only gave birth to her first child at the beginning of September, it's now the end of December and she's already looking at making a comeback. Honestly there is a limitation to what information we can take from an exhibition match, there's not the pressure of ranking points, defending titles, even prize money. It's very different to a normal WTA event where she's going to be going all out and honestly Serena probably didn't give 100% in the exhibition match, she doesn't want to injure herself ahead of the most important tournaments. But I do have a few things that I've taken away from the match which I think are of interest. Firstly, I think it was really interesting that she was playing Yelena Ostapenko, only 20 and already a Grand Slam champion. Thank to her great run in Paris. This was the first meeting between the pair and Ostapenko is very aggressive from the word go. She's not the sort of person who's going to let Serena ease into the match and find her rhythm. She's looking for winners, she wants to destroy. Ostapenko's game style would really give her an idea of where she's at, she hits very hard, it would test Serena's timing, her movements. And choosing to play against Ostapenko also shows her focus because she would definitely be scrutinised a lot and have so many people analysing her game, her weaknesses, and she knew that was going to happen and the fact that she wanted to do it anyway shows that she's not listening to what other people are saying, she's very focused on her game and what she wants to achieve in the coming weeks. But even more than that, it shows that she is really serious about the Australian Open. When it was first announced that Serena was pregnant, it came straight to my mind that she would want to be back for the Australian Open. She's defending two 2000 ranking points there which are keeping her relatively high on the rankings right now for someone who hasn't competed in 11 months. And Serena is so ambitious and she is still at like 23 Grand Slam titles which is the most in the Open era but Margaret Court has the most overall with 24. Serena is just so hungry and so motivated and I don't think she's going to be happy to end her career until she's hit that number 24 even though she really doesn't need to. But playing the match against Dostopenko she was competing a good few weeks before the Australian Open is due to take place. It gives her ample time to see what she needs to work on and it means she's getting herself in the best shape she can be for Melbourne, which might not be her perfect shape, but as we've seen before at the Australian Open itself, she doesn't need to be in perfect shape in order to win a slam. She has the talent, she has the hunger, she has the willpower, so if she's focused and she wants it, if she's given herself a few weeks in advance, that should really be enough for Serena to at least make an impact. Then we come to the physical match itself against Ostapenko. Serena didn't win. Ostapenko came away with a 6-2, 3-6, 10-5 -6, victory because they played a champion's tiebreak instead of a third set. As kind of a brief overview, Serena's movement wasn't anywhere near where she would want it to be. Her serve, she was rolling it in a fair amount and sometimes struggling to place it, but her ball striking was absolutely fine. When she was in the right place, the striking was great it had the depth, it had the placement, and it was pretty much the same sort of stuff she was producing before she had to take a step back from the game. And as for her movement and her serve, they actually improved as the match went on. So I think maybe people should remember that in the weeks to come because Serena might not produce her best tennis straight away but give her time and if she has the hunger and the motivation, as I've said before, 
we know she has the talent so she's going to get back to where she was. Another thing that we saw in the match was that Serena actually really wanted it and that suggests that she does have the hunger and the motivation as does the fact that she was playing this match in the first place. If someone had flicked on the TV in the second set they could have thought that this was an actual tennis match where prize money and ranking points was on the line because Serena was getting really frustrated with herself when she missed simple putaways, she was starting to grunt a lot more, she was generally sweating it out and showing that she really did want to win this match however much it counted for. She just has this natural competitive spirit which has taken her to so much and has been the groundwork of her game a lot of the time. And finally, exhibition match or not, Serena nearly won the match in her first appearance since giving birth against one of the WTA's best players right now, so that can only say great things for her going forward. In the 2017 season we saw five different women win the Grand Slam and the WTA finals. The only woman to reach two Grand Slam finals was Venus, Serena's sister, and Serena was one of the women that walked away with a major title. So while sitting back and watching unexpected names walk away with big trophies might have been a bit frustrating for Serena, knowing that she could have taken advantage if she was there, it might also be encouraging for her because she knows that even if she's not at her best standard, which far outdoes anyone else on the circuit, she has the great opportunity to win big titles in the coming year. She was up and down, but it's an exhibition match. This is what she came for. She's probably taken away everything that she wanted to from the match against Ostapenko. So I think it's a great end to 2017 and a great beginning to 2018 for Serena Williams. And there you have it, our last video for 2017 in the fading light, which is appropriate for once. I just want to say again, thank you to everyone who has watched the videos and subscribed to the channel this year. I really do appreciate the support so much. There will be plenty of uploads coming in 2018. Let me know what you think Serena will achieve in 2018. Do you see her winning a slam? Do you see her winning more than one Grand Slam? And who do you think will be her closest competitors if she gets back to the level that we all know she is capable of? Thank you for watching, Happy New Year, and I'll see you in 2018. <laughs>